All righty, Ken, here we are back. Episode nine, got a question for you. Do you get the fries and the apple pie when you are at McDonald's? Only if I'm really, really hungry. And if I do, it's got to be the apple pie, the yeah. apple pie. Do they still ask you, though? Do they say, would you like fries with that? How about an apple pie? No, because I usually buy the bundle. I buy the bundle. Oh, the meal deal. I go for the meal deal. I do. Is it Supersize me. Yeah, I don't. I don't go for the super size, but I definitely go for the meal deal, and I just I want to get everything all in one at one price. So that brings me to what we're talking about today: the funnel, the funnel, the funnel. Even in you know this really when you talk about the funnel, it's it's an ascension model, right? It means you buy something at a low cost, and then you get stuck in the funnel and then you have upsells where things start costing more money. And the vendor puts that together because it's a buying frenzy. As soon as someone has their credit card out and their internet information, or they've already entered their PayPal information and they checked it once. And then you have the technology behind the funnel that all they have to do is keep hitting the button and it keeps charging that PayPal account or that credit card, those upsells, that's the funnel, right? Mm -hmm. So you as an affiliate marketer, do you appreciate the funnel? Do you need the funnel? Do you want a big, crazy, deep funnel for a product that you promote? As an affiliate marketer, no. I, I and it, oh, it's, it depends though. T to me, if if the pieces that they're offering up are going to help accelerate or help to improve upon the original product, which works just totally fine by itself, but can add additional value to it, like french fries or an apple pie then for sure i i don't appreciate seeing a, a ton of different upsells because then to me it's more i feel it's more of a money grab than anything else that the front end is there to get you in and the money is made on on the back side on, on all the, the the upsells that you get and from what i've seen so far and and you have seen so far in evaluating a lot of products online by the way, folks, we evaluate a lot of them. I, I, I see the difference and I'm evaluating a product right now that I'm thinking about promoting. And I'm sure you're thinking you're going to promote as well, too, where there's only three. There's only three upsells and all three upsells are very valuable upsells that actually will enhance the overall experience. But can you can you can you just take the front end product and, and run with that and do well? Absolutely. And so I think that's the, for me, it's, it's very difficult, you know, when I, when I see products that have these long sales funnels and I, and I reviewed one that had 11, <laughs> 11 upsells. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. I mean, you feel like you're never getting out of that. I know. Well, how, how do you feel about that? What, what are your thoughts? So, I mean, specifically, we're talking about, you know, the thing that we promote, of course, on our YouTube channels. And of course, taking action online is a digital product information products, training products, specifically like taking action online. And the ones that we, you know, review and we look at are usually training someone on a specific thing on how to make money online in the digital space, how to do internet marketing, how to do internet marketing using a specific, you know, angle or a tool, for example, running paid ads or creating a YouTube channel. So the idea there inside the digital world, the digital space, is a little different than say physical products. Mm -hmm. And there's a kind of a double-edged sword there because digital products, people, some people look at as being valuable. And when you build a funnel, the vendor looks at it as a valuable way to structure a funnel and to add additional price points inside that funnel. And they also see it as sort of a value ladder where they're providing more value. Mm -hmm. So it really depends on how it's structured. So to take that back to the, the physical world, if you were to look at when you go buy a car, a car has a base model, right? Now the base model has changed a lot since, you know, me and you started buying cars, <laughs> yeah. right? But I mean, the base model of a car used to be a car, you yeah. know, it had, it had a, a you know, four, a four on the floor, a five speed manual transmission, had no air conditioner. It had a radio, but it didn't have a, and I'm going to date myself with this, a tape deck. <laughs> Right. <laughs> God, what is the what? A CD player even. Right. I'm still yes. dating myself. And, it, you know, this, the, the, it had two speakers in the front dash, maybe four speakers, you, you know, a four cylinder versus a six cylinder. These mm -hmm. kind of things at the base model. Then if you wanted to make that car better, 
right? For lack of a better way to phrase it. If you wanted more accessories, if you wanted chrome, chrome wheels, or you wanted air conditioning, or you wanted power windows, those were technically upsells because you were buying a better model. But you still got the car, you got the frame, you got the motor, you got the wheels, everything you needed for the car to work was what now we call the front end, specifically when we talk about these digital funnels, these digital products. If you buy the front end of a product and it doesn't, to go back to that analogy, it doesn't have the wheels and the tires, then it's not a complete product. And that is what upsets me in a funnel. And then the second thing that upsets me is the downsell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The downsell, which is basically the same as the upsell, but sometimes hundreds of dollars less. Yes. Oh, okay. Well, so <laughs> that's just, oh, so, God. And, and that's the problem, right? Even for right. us to talk about it, it's hard to explain because the idea behind a downsell and everyone listening on the podcast and, you know, you're watching here on the YouTube channel. If you've made it this far at the affiliate mm -hmm. files, I'm sure you're probably seasoned enough to know either as a consumer or as an affiliate marketer that is promoting a product, you've gone through these funnels and you see this, the upsells make logical type of sense, right? Because mm -hmm. they're adding something of value to the product, to that mm -hmm. front end. Mm -hmm. The downsell typically is sort of buried in there and it's after the upsell. So the upsell offers you something that adds on to the front end. And then you say, no, thanks. I'm not interested in that. And then the downsell immediately discount it. Now, if the downsell actually takes something away from the upsell, right? It sort of peels off a feature again, where the upsell can still operate. You can still use mm -hmm. the upsell just at a lower price point. Then it kind of makes sense. Right. But the problem is what we see in a lot of these products. And again, going back to sort of that double edged sword of the digital product is the people, the vendors, that is, they can get away with this shady tactic of just giving you a discount for no other reason than saying no, thank you to the upsell. Yeah. Yeah. And it's <laughs> just <laughs> for me, <laughs> I, I, when I do my reviews, I, I, I do like to talk about the upsells and downsells. And I, I, to me, I, when I see that, it, it's just so, it's, it's disheartening because I know that if you knew when you bought the product that you could get the same product for 300 or $400 less, I would be very upset <laughs> at that. I mean, like you said, if they took away half of what they offer, let's say they offer you a hundred, a hundred emails, right? Email templates and they take away half of them. And they, they charge you half the price. And sure, that, that, that makes total sense. But to literally offer you half the price and give you the same amount of those emails, those templates, just because you're going to exit intent off the page, which I see a lot of these nowadays. It's like, wow. wait, wait a minute. I want to give you a hundred dollars off. How about a hundred dollars off? That, that to me, I, that's really shady. I, I just don't like that. And I just, Having gone through it myself and now that I can see it from a different perspective, I, I just feel horrible knowing that someone who goes through that funnel does not know that. And, yeah. I, you know. Yeah, that's the thing, right? You don't know until you know. Of course, that's the thought process. And a little bit of that is. The technology, and we talked about this in, in marketing or manipulation. I think that was episode seven. And then in episode six, we talked about the freemium model, like giving away, you know, access to software versus just charging, you know, act to get access right. or even limited access, you know, meaning you pay a small fee and you get access fully functional. But some of the, the, the more important features that you might need aren't available. So that's sort of where this funnel sort of, you know, came from is marketers decided to create a funnel. And then on the front end, they would bring people in for a very, very low offer, a very, very low price point. And then they would say, get this product. You know, it's really easy to do in a digital product mm -hmm. if it's training or an ebook, because then you can just offer it for seven bucks yep. and there's no overhead and you can make all kinds of money or you can offer a hundred percent. 100% commission to all your affiliates 
which means that you're going to get more people to promote it because they're going to make more money on the front end of the funnel. Mm -hmm. And then as they go through the funnel, again, it's this, this idea inside of that marketing or manipulation, making the funnel, you know, longer and then having the price points slowly go up means that people are going to feel, you know, better about spending all that money because they may not be keeping track of how much money they're spending. Right. Right. Yeah. It's, it's, I, I like having this, this discussion because now, again, like I said, having it from a different perspective, you you appreciate it <laughs> because now you understand it. But also, too, now you can see how it, be, it can be used in ways that are shady, <laughs> to, for lack of a better term. Nefarious. Nefarious. I think I used that word a long time with nefarious. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I, I, now that I can see it from a different perspective, it, it, yeah, it, it just, for me, it's, it's something where I, I just find it just difficult to, to comprehend how someone would want to do that as a vendor. I, I, I wouldn't do that as a vendor. Um, and to me, if I'm going to add an upsell to any product that I'm, that I'm selling, that it has to be something that will, like you said, enhance it, like, getting, you know, Chrome or getting, getting air conditioning or the, the side view mirror. That was another thing, the side view mirror. You only get the one on the driver's side. Right. You didn't get the one on the passenger side, right? That's right. My Toyota Tercel. I had, yeah. I, I only had one. I didn't have the one on the side, but yeah, it, it, to me, then that's when, you know, it makes perfect sense. But I just, this whole idea of people creating these upsells and just not really offering or taking away a little bit on the downsell that's just really shady and, and to just show that and, and see to see it i would be i would be very upset again i would be upset if i were a customer going through that funnel yeah so on specific marketplaces and some of the products we review like over at ken fear cow marketing and my youtube channel you can see that and we and we teach people basically how to you know maneuver these funnels on these certain marketplaces because they're just links on a web page and you can open a new tab and you can actually see what's going on as you progress through the funnel. So let's talk about the funnel as a concept, sort of a higher level concept of, you know, an Ascension model in the back end of a product that, you know, you're promoting as an affiliate. So let's say that, you know, you're promoting a membership. So once somebody might buys a membership, Inside that membership, there could be a funnel inside that membership because we're just talking about an ascension model. And mm -hmm. that just means that, you know, you have higher train, you have higher level of training at a higher level of price point. And typically inside of a membership model, you're going to have an, you know, an ascension model or a funnel mm -hmm. where you can buy an upsell for one on one coaching, which means, you know, you're paying for somebody's time at that point, which is obviously going to be more money if you're talking about live coaching versus, you know, right. recordings inside of a digital product. What do you think about those? I think that's, those are totally fine. I think it's totally fine because to me, when you're buying a membership, you already, well, for the most part, you already know what you're getting. You know what you're getting, you're buying the front end. Most of the time, I don't even expect any upsells on, on membership, on membership packages. And when, when I do see upsells, it's usually for, like you said, one-on-one -on -one coaching, maybe a separate mastermind group or access to um, previous recordings from the mastermind group or something like that. Something that's going to add value to the membership. So I'm totally fine, totally fine with that. Um, what are your thoughts on that? Well, one of the reasons I brought it up is one of the things that I sell and some of the things that I see is in, in a different niche that I'm in is we sell a lot of tools and the tools come in a membership area. So you join the membership and you get all the tools inside of the membership you know, to do these different functions that you need to do. So for example, like kind of like if you were to buy Groove Funnels or say Click Funnels or trying to really bring it in here to what people, most of the people that are listening would understand. Mm -hmm. But the idea here is you're getting a complete co collection of tools or like inside of Canva, right? Canva has a lot of different features inside of it. Right. So you could think of it as a feature unlock. So you join the membership and you get everything. But typically the way they bring people into these memberships is with a low, a low ticket or a tripwire where they peel off a tool or they take a tool out and they make it a standalone tool. 
Mm -hmm. So you can purchase the tool for a one-time price and then that gets you into the membership and then you have access to that tool forever. But mm -hmm. then inside the membership, those other tools are locked. Those right. other features are locked. Right. Right. So as a membership model, it's really a funnel in the same sense of it, but you purchase the tool as a standalone tool. And then when you get inside and you may or may not know this, right, that information may or not be, may or may not be on the sales page when you mm -hmm. buy that tool as a standalone tool. But in reality, I don't really have a problem with that because you purchased that one tool. Yeah. Right. And then in that, and in the sense of a funnel, meaning a sales page, after you purchase that standalone tool, you may be offered a chance at the membership. And I've had a few people get upset about that because then they're like, well, I just spent the money on this tool. Now you're offering me the membership. That was a waste of money to buy the standalone tool. Mm -hmm. No, because no. you always have access to that tool that you purchased for a one time price. Yeah. We're just trying to enhance this tool by giving you uh, uh, option to be a part of the membership. So that, yeah, that, and that, that's just sense. one example that was on the top of my head. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that makes total sense to me because also too, you know, you're buying that for, for example, that your example you gave, you're buying the tool because that's a tool that you want and that you need for your business. And they're only going to try and enhance that value by offering up this membership. And I've gotten, I've gotten no problem with that at all. Um, because to me, that provides value. And as long as it's providing value on top of the tool that you already have, because I'm, sh I'm sure the tool comes with training on how to use it, which is what you need anyway, but it's the community itself and that engagement is part of the membership that adds that little extra that can really, if you're investing in your own business and trying to grow your business, as we talk about, you know, investing in your business, that's something that to me provides a lot of value. And that's something yeah. worth considering. Right. And that's, I mean, that specific tool, you know, without mentioning it, because it doesn't really matter, but to yeah. bring it back to something that we promote here on the affiliate files. And of course, there's a link here on the YouTube channel and on the podcast for the community that we promote over at Taking Action Online. You see this as well. You actually get inside of Taking Action Online and you have the thing that you purchase to get inside the community because right. you get access to the community via a few different doors. So you think of taking action online as a house, right? And then inside that house, you have multiple different doors you can enter. And each one of those doors is a different product. You know, and in the sense in the pure sense of the idea, the ideology of a funnel, the concept that at the highest level mm -hmm. is that literally the funnel is the very widest top point. You know, if nobody knows what a funnel is, I'm trying to describe it. Of course on YouTube you can see it. But I'm holding up my hand and I'm so showing a very wide circle where you're just pouring leads into the top and then it just gets smaller mm -hmm. and people are funneled through. I mean, that's that's the idea. That's the concept. It's the same thing inside the Taking Action Online community. You get inside the community via purchasing, not access to the community, but by purchasing a training that brings you into the community. Then when you're inside the community, you'll be able to click on all those things and those will be upsells inside the community effectively a funnel that you would see. So if, you know, this product was for sale, you would see the sales page where you would purchase the product and then you would be offered the upsell of the rest of the products. They would all be available. Right. But, but the taking action online community isn't sold that way. There's no launch, right? And I just quoted for you podcasters, you know, I love to do that. Yeah. If you're on the YouTube channel. There's no launch, right? The launch is, the recommendation that we make for the simple traffic blueprint, you know, or the, the SEO blueprint, or even to give away the free 12 step training. Correct. Correct. And I, and I, I like the way that this funnel, and I use the air, the air quotes too. Um, I, I like the way that it's structured because by accessing the product and entering into the community, the community to me is what sells people on the other products, um, getting them in there and interacting with Gary and with me, we're both active in the community. So if you guys are there, say hi, <laughs> okay, don't yes. be shy. Just don't say hi. Shy. You don't have to write your life story. Just say hi to us or reach out th uh, through chat and we'll definitely um, say hi to you as well. But I, I like that whole model because now it's basically people get to see for themselves the value that they get for, you know, uh, uh, enhancing or up, uh, you know, purchasing whatever upsell is that they're looking at, whether it be another product, whether it be the premium membership of Taking Action Online, they can see all the different components right there. 
they may not get access to it. They'll be able to click on it and take a look at it and read a summary of it and, and see people talking about it in the community. And that to me, you know, it, it sells itself is, is basically what it does. And people sell themselves when they see the value that they get being in the community. Yeah. And I, I think it was important though. And the reason I wanted to bring it up sort of in that, that way, you know, mentioned in the community is because it's, it's sometimes it's hard for, you know, newbie or beginning affiliate marketers or even people that are stuck in one model of affiliate marketing where they just do launch jacking or they just participate in being an affiliate for products that are being launched. And then they just understand the funnel from the simplistic view of a series of sales pages, you know, to look at it from the angle of a click funnels, right? right? Click funnels is all about the, you know, the front end offer, the, the first page gets you into the thing you buy, you buy Russell Brunson's book, right? Then that leads you into the funnel that leads you into purchasing click funnels or joining some challenge or something. Mm -hmm. And that's a traditional idea of the funnel, but funnels work in many different ways. You have the marketing funnel, you have the sales funnel, mm -hmm. and they're two different things. You know what I mean? You're, you're making sales and you're getting people to spend more money with you on the back end on the marketing funnel. And, and a funnel could just as easily, because we talked about the front end being a low price point, mm -hmm. it could just as easily be a lead magnet, right? A lead magnet for, you know, a freebie where you just give your email address, your name, your address, your telephone number. However, they're going to follow up with you. You just give them that and they give you something about you. Could right. be the start of the funnel. Even as an affiliate, you could give away free stuff to later on earn a commission once they get inside of the product itself or the community, like we use the Taking Action Online community. For example, when we promote Taking Action Online products, once they get inside the community, we're still going to earn commissions on those other products as right. an affiliate. So it behooves us to, you know, be in the community and be active, you know, and that's part of it, you know, understanding how the funnel works as an affiliate marketer and looking at the big overall strategy and big picture of, and I'm going to air quote for you podcasters, the funnel when you're, when you're an affiliate marketer. Yeah. And that, and that's what I love about affiliate marketing. I'm constantly learning about just the business itself, how to run the business, what's inside the funnels, um, especially the funnels. I mean, for me, the education about learning about the different funnels and it not only being you getting them on a, with a tripwire, but literally, like you just said, giving them away a free, a freebie, a, le a lead magnet of some sort to get them into, into a funnel. There's so many different ways to do this, but the core concept is, is the same. And it's up to your imagination how you want that to go. Um, so I, I just, I, for me, it's, it's this whole education and this whole, you know, we're constantly learning, which is what I really love about what we do is that I'm always learning something. It's not stagnant. I'm learning new things every single day. And, you know, funnels is a part of it. It's a big part of our business. So why not, right? Why, why not learn more about it? Yeah. And it's important to know that, you know, as we started the conversation, we talked about the upsell and whether or not you should have one. 1000% you should have an upsell. If you don't have an upsell, you don't have a business. Right. You're not going to make a living selling low price point products. And as an affiliate, that's what you have to understand. The money is not made on the first product that you sell in the funnel. Because a lot of people get caught up in that as well as a beginner affiliate. They buy traffic and they run it to the front end and then they're wondering what's going on. Well, the idea here is as an affiliate marketer, you have to build your own funnel as an affiliate in front of all the products that you're promoting. Mm -hmm. And that's why I wanted to mention the freebie that you're giving away. So as an affiliate, your main goal is to create content and to build a tribe or an audience around a pain point that you have the solution for as an affiliate. And of course, that solution is a product and multiple products that are inside of the funnel that the vendor provided for you. Mm -hmm. But as an affiliate, you need to sort of step back and think about the funnel as how you're bringing people into your audience mm -hmm. and then think about your own funnel, how you're building out your marketing funnel as an affiliate marketer, how you're attracting your audience, how you're bringing them into your community, how you're bringing them into your world, and then how you're giving them value and providing them value and then funneling them through to the all the products inside of your affiliate funnel. 
it's kind of like Inception. <laughs> it's a dream within a dream. That's, why I, call you, that's why I call you the professor. There's different layers. It, there is. There are many different layers. And I like how one funnel leads into the next. Yeah. And that you need this funnel to get people into your realm, into your tribe. And, you know, when you talk about that, I'm, I'm sitting, now, sitting here thinking, yeah, that's absolutely right. You know, I don't even think about it. I just do it naturally. But yeah, when I when I really peel back the layers, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, and that's why we call you the professor. But that's the key, right? Is And that's what this episode is about or was about because we're going to wrap up here is understanding the funnel as an affiliate marketer, understanding what it is you're promoting and how the vendor is putting it together for your benefit, but also how it can be or it can work against you as an affiliate because right. people are going to be upset when they get in that funnel and there's just massive amounts of upsells and downsells. The downsells, if they don't make any logical sense, meaning like Ken's example, they offered you a hundred templates or email templates and that was a hundred bucks. Then they said, no, th or you said, no, thanks. I don't want to, I don't, I don't need that. I don't want that. And then they said, oh, wait, we'll give you 50 for 50 bucks. See, that makes sense. That's logical. Now, if they just said, oh, wait, we'll give you two for 50 bucks and you still got a hundred, you as an affiliate just damaged your relationship with your audience, the person you put into that funnel. Right. Right. And that's why it's so important if you are going to promote a product to understand the funnel and understand the process for which your customer is going to be going through. You need to understand that journey because your reputation, your brand is on the line. With great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> that's absolutely it. And that's a great topic, creating a brand as an affiliate that we definitely will cover in a future episode. And with that, I'm Gary, he's Ken, and we'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>